Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 38 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. There are different types of mutations. Mutations are broadly classified because there are different causes of mutations. Now, these are the different factors which caused mutation, but mutations ha can happen due to change in the gene structure. It can also happen due to change in the chromosome. So based on that, they have been divided into two types, that is gene mutations and chromosomal mutation. So when we talk about gene mutation, these are those mutations which take place due to some changes in the gene structure. So here your chromosome is the same. There is no change in the structure of the chromosome or there is no change in the number of the chromosome. That is all perfectly fine. But the gene which are present in the chromosome, there is some change in the gene. Now, if there is a change in the gene, so this change can be in the form of uh, some mismatch between the uh, sequence of the bases, so there can be anything. So whenever there is a change in the gene structure, then also the protein synthesis gets affected. And when the protein synthesis gets affected, the trait gets affected and mutations are seen. So this is one type of mutation. The second type of mutation is chromosome mutation. This happens due to change in chromosome number or structure. As I said, <clears throat> genes are located on chromosomes. Now, both will impact the trait. So when we talk about the chromosome number or the structure, as you know that in every organism, each cell has a fixed number of chromosomes. For example, in human beings, the number is 46. Now, if there is a change in the total number of chromosomes, let us suppose if somebody has 44 chromosomes or if somebody has 47 chromosomes, so that is basically a chromosome mutation, that is a change in chromosome number. Now, when the chromosome number changes, obviously your gene also changes because you have an extra chromosome or you don't have one chromosome. So that means the gene which was supposed to be present on that chromosome, that is also missing. So your protein synthesis get impacted. So your body will have some or the other different traits, right? So these are basically the two types of mutations. Now we will talk about each of these mutations one by one. So let us start with gene mutations. So what happens in gene mutation? Here a change in the DNA sequence can alter the gene structure. So when we talk about the gene structure, the structure of the gene is what? It is made up of the nucleic acids, it is made up of the DNA. So anything which changes the sequence of the uh, DNA structure will alter the gene structure. And when the gene structure gets changed, it alters the proteins which are being formed because the sequence of the bases on the DNA actually gives instructions for the protein to be synthesized. Now how exactly that process happens, we will discuss that in our next lesson. Right? So, now there are many ways by which gene mutation can take place. Now, some of the ways are substitution. What is substitution? Substitute means to replace something. Now, what happens in, in some cases? Okay, let us first talk about substitution or let us first see what are the various ways by which gene mutation can take place. One is substitution, the other is insertion. And the last one is deletion. So these are the three main ways by which gene mutation can take place. Now let us see what is substitution. When incorrect bases matched with each other. Now as I said, there is a proper sequence which is maintained, right? Here you have something like this. Let us suppose these are the bases which are mapped to each other, right? So this is how you have a specific sequence. Now substitution occurs if A, now we all know that A that is adenine should always be mapped to thymine. Similarly guanine should always be mapped to cytosine. So this we have studied in our junior classes right when, in class 11th I think when we went to studying about biomolecules. Even if you don't remember, we will talk about this in the next lesson. So please remember that there is a specific sequence in which they need to be matched. A will always match with T, G will always match with C. Now let us suppose if there is some mismatch in the matching. By mistake, let us suppose A got matched with G and G got matched with T. So this is a mismatch. This is known as substitution. That means the incorrect pair, the correct pair got replaced and it is replaced by an incorrect pair. So this kind of substitution, if, if this happens, what may happen, this will impact the protein synthesis and mutation will occur. 
one thing is insertion now what will happen if an extra base is inserted in between now let us suppose you have a sequence somewhat like this let us say you have a sequence like this so i'm writing it here so that it is clearly you know, visible to you so let us suppose you have a sequence like this and so on so you have a particular sequence this way now if i add an extra base in between let us suppose in between this c and a i add an extra t so what is going to happen to this extra t so now this side you have more bases, this side you have less bases. So there will be some issues in pairing up. So maybe G will pair up with C after that T and here you have T. So who will pair up with G? So that means it will actually create a different sequence altogether. So that entire sequence will get altered due to an extra base being inserted in between and this in turn will affect the protein synthesis. Similarly, there can be a deletion. Let us suppose I did not insert it and instead of that, I deleted one from here. So what will happen? Now this T will try to pair up with something else. And when this T tries to pair up, A is not there. So it might try to pair up with G. C will try to pair up with C. So it will again cause an entire mess. And this will also impact the protein synthesis. Especially this inserts, insertion and deletion can even be fatal because they can actually bring about a lot of major changes and those changes can in fact kill that person. That, that person might not be able to survive with, with those kind of changes. Now, wherever you have a change which impacts only a particular gene, that is known as a point mutation. For example, if you talk about the substitution, this impacts only a specific gene, only a specific portion, right? So that is known as a point mutation. Whereas these kind of insertion and deletion, so if you insert something or if you delete something, it actually spoils the entire sequence because if you delete this, T will try to map with G, C will try to map with C, G will try to map with T. So the entire sequence will get impacted. So these kind of mutations are known as frame shift mutations. So these are called frame shift mutation because the mutation is actually shifting from one point to another. Whereas this type of mutations are called point mutation because they impact just one area. So if there is a mismatch, instead of G, there is T. So this sequence is getting impacted, but other sequences are not getting impacted, right? So this is a point mutation and these are frame shift mutations. So these are the various types of gene mutations. Now let us have a look at the chromosome mutations. Now as I said, whenever there is a change in the sequence or the number of genes on chromosomes, they can cause this type of mutation. Now whenever your chromosome structure changes or whenever the number of chromosomes changes, obviously the, the sequence and the number of genes will also change because after all chromosomes contain the genes, genes are located on chromosomes. So this can also happen by many different ways. So one such uh, process by which chromosome mutation happens is duplication. What happens here is a part of the chromosome is duplicated such that there are more genes on it. So let us look at it this way. It is suppose this is a chromosome, right? So what happens in this case? Let us suppose this is the chromosome. Now let me divide the chromosome into parts so that it is easier for you to understand. Let us suppose we divide this chromosome into different parts. I'm just doing it. I mean, anyways, the chromosome contains different genes, right? So it is like the chromosome is divided into sections where you have the, the gene linearly placed one after another, right? So let us suppose these are the portion of the chromosome. So we name it in order to make our understanding better and so on. Now, what happens if a particular portion of the chromosome is duplicated. Let us suppose this portion of the chromosome gets duplicated. So what will happen? Only this portion, C and D, it will pick twice. So it will double itself or it will copy itself. So in this case, what will happen after the duplication? It will be somewhat like this. So if you see, so the CD got duplicated. Now, if it gets duplicated like this, what do you think? Will the genes not get impacted? Yes, it will because whatever gene was there in this portion, C, D, so the same gene is again present here. So it is a duplication. Now what will happen when this chromosome will undergo meiosis, 
So the sequence of gene on this chromosome is actually altered. So the kind of proteins or the kind of uh, cells it will produce, I mean the uh, gamete cells it will produce at the end of meiosis, they will also undergo, they will also face these changes due to duplication of this particular part. As a result, different proteins will get synthesized. Right? So this, this is how duplication can affect when extra copies of a part of the chromosome is created because new genes are also, the extra copies of genes are also getting generated. Another way is again deletion where a part of the chromosome is deleted. So now we are not deleting a particular base or we are not trying to bother the sequence of the bases in the nucleotide. We are trying to delete a part of the chromosome itself. Now on this chromosome you have the genes. Right? So genes are located on the chromosome and those genes are made up of the uh, DNA. So right now we are not bothering it at DNA level. So DNA is intact, DNA is correct. But what we are doing is we are removing a portion from this chromosome itself. Let us suppose we remove this portion. So this much portion if we remove, what will happen? So that portion itself is not there. So after A you will have E, F, G and so on. So this part is not there. So that means whatever gene was present in this portion that is missing now. So whatever traits these genes were controlling, those traits will also be missing because the proteins for those traits will not get synthesized. So that means deletion can impact inversion. So what is inversion? It means a part of the chromosome is broken and then added inversely. So what do we mean by that? Again, let us consider a chromosome. Right? So you have the different parts of the chromosome like this. Okay? So you consider any part of the chromosome, let us suppose we consider this portion of the chromosome. So what do we do? We take this portion out and then you put it inversely. Something of the sort. Suppose you are here. So this is A, B and then instead of C, D, E, you put it as E, B, C. And then the remaining is the same. So basically if you look at this portion, since the sequence of the genes have changed, so even though all the genes are there, but the sequence have changed. Now when it will go for the process of meiosis, the way it will combine with the homologous chromosome, the sequence has changed, right? Now earlier if, now when the protein gets synthesized, it will look at the sequence of the genes, because sequence of the genes, sequence of the bases, that is very much important. So if that gets altered, obviously the protein synthesis will get altered. And the last way by which chromosome mutation can take place is translocation. So what happens in translocation? A part of a non-homologous chromosome is attached to the chromosome or vice versa. So in this case what will happen is, let us suppose you have the, a different chromosome. So now we are not, here in these cases whether it is duplication, deletion or inversion, we were talking about the same chromosome. In the same chromosome we are removing a part, we are adding a part, we are duplicating a part, but everything is happening on the same chromosome. But in translocation, let us suppose we take up another chromosome and from this green, that is why I have represented it in green color. Now let us suppose from this chromosome, we take, I mean we take a small part, let us suppose this portion we take and then this portion is added to, a diff, added to this chromosome. So let us suppose if this chromosome had a sequence like this, so this portion is taken out from this chromosome and then added to this chromosome. So that is also a new sequence of genes being added to this chromosome. So this will also affect the sequence of genes which will in turn impact this protein synthesis. So whenever we talk about mutation, mutation is all because of the change in the sequence of genes. That can happen with due to the change in structure of chromosome, change in the number of chromosomes. That can also happen because of change in the gene structure in terms of change in the sequence of bases on the DNA. So there can be so many reasons which can give rise to mutations. But most of the, not all mutations are completely harmful, but many of them are extremely harmful and can even be fatal to the organism. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt a free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.